Leg and Greg Vegan Camp, the 1st of April 2021. Whoa, very strong, nice smell. Selfie time. Sweet potatoes are shooting from the cuttings. I just cut off the ends of the sweet potatoes and then like planted them here in, uh, in the ground and, and in other areas I just threw them around and they're also coming new shoots. Mango season coming up. I really enjoy these transparent bags for bagging the mangoes because of the other random things of the the brown bags which might be in, infested with some kind of uh, pesticide even though they get eaten by pests but the real big benefit of this bag is that you can see when the mango is ripe so you don't need to touch it um, or twist it or anything you can see when it's getting ripe and it's much better to get really nice tree ripened mangoes this way. And also you save a lot of time. You save a lot of time of checking if the mangoes are are ripe or not because you can just see it from the from the outside. You don't need to open the bags and stuff like that. So this is uh, a quite nice thing. The only minus is that they are they are also if you store them, some of the bags have been eaten by some other bugs. So bugs can, while in storage, if you're not storing them out in the, the open, like if you store them in a, in a box, then uh, like a cardboard box, then this might get eaten also by other bugs. So the bags are like prone to get eaten, but the same with the brown bags. So overall, I think these uh, plastic mesh bags win, even though they're made of plastic. But they, I hope they will last for some years before they need to be changed. I think these mangoes are the most ripe ones. This is, these are huge already. And you can still see there are like small ones coming up. So there's a good mix of large and small mangoes, the uh, maturity. So we will have a long mango season this year, I, I think, I hope. Rose apples, also very prone to get eaten by bugs. So I'm trying to bag some of the, the rose apples too. Already eaten rose apples and almost mature rose apples. These are not Nandog Mime and are also very nice. I need to bag these because they are huge. Whenever they get bigger than a golf ball, some people recommend that when they are bigger than a golf ball, then you can start to bag them. So when it's like this, it's already maybe too late to bag them, but it doesn't matter anyway. It looks like there are like some bugs that already planted some eggs here and there. But I need to bag, bag these too. When the bugs go in and the mangoes start to crack, it's a good idea to pick them and then use them as a mango salad. Very nice. It's like very nice alternative. And or or you can actually mix with papaya, papaya salad, papayas like unripe papayas with unripe mangoes, and you have like a sour, sour thing. So you don't need to use limes. You can just use the unripe uh, mangoes. But I'll just leave them until they ripen as much as possible on the tree. Different type of banana, also very nice. Very, a, a bit similar to Cavendish, but it's like the, the round apple banana, I think they call it. And it's very hot. It's like April and very hot and dry. And of course the, the smoke season is here, so during the night it's, it's quite bad. But when you have a tent with air filters, it's, you can survive it quite well. Small jackfruit tree. 
which is now getting bigger and like giant jackfruits hanging. And it was like large and I think it was it grew too fast or something I don't know but it cracked by itself. I don't see any bugs eating it but it just fell down and there was like small jackfruit. And the small young jackfruits you can use them as you can steam them and then you can use them as a like a meat alternative if you like. So you can just stomp it and you have like I don't, I don't want to say it. So it's like the pulled we don't want to say thing. Nowadays you need to be very careful what you say when you when you're vegan and you're fighting for the animals the planet, your health and everything else. Now there are so many nice smells, the flowers, the, the, the longan flowers, the chaom, the mangoes, everything. You just, when you go and bag them and you maybe take off the, the old shoes that are like this. There are so, so many nice smells in the garden right now, it's just mega nice. So, and during like the noon and afternoon, the the air quality gets much better, so you can just smell all the good things. That's very nice. And I hope one day that people will understand that burning stuff is not a good idea in the scale that they're doing now. It's not only a problem in, in, for Thailand, it's just like also the surrounding countries. So it's like a major issue and also very important for tourism. If Thailand wants to get tourism back, also because of this crazy virus thing then I mean the smoke season is a r real thing that people need to think about because I think tourists get smarter and smarter why go to northern Thailand with all the smoke when you can go to other nice um, areas without the smoke I mean for me it's a no-brainer The lime tree is producing again, these nice limes falling down all the time, every day, new limes, very nice. And yes, limes turn yellow if left on the tree for long enough time. Pineapple nothing, pineapple nothing, pineapple nothing, pineapple yes, pineapple yes, nothing, nothing, new one coming, yes. We have sometimes when when the leaves of the pineapple they become like reddish, then it seems like or sometimes the the pineapple is coming, but not this one. Over here you can see like the leaves are like reddish down there, and then there's a pineapple, longans, baby longans, and together with the baby longans we have bees, like a natural beehive. It's so crazy nice when. A swarm of bees comes and starts to build a home. They're swarming like dragons. It's super nice. And then they started collecting all the pollen from the, from the longan flowers. The way it should be. Imagine that in some areas of the world there are humans pollinating instead of the bees because they don't have bees. And like many areas of the world, in the U.S. and many other places, but the U.S. is just notorious about this. They are like transporting bees from from area to area to pollinate because they don't have the bees, and then they are importing them from Australia and stuff like that. So bees are being transported across the oceans to pollinate stuff in other areas of the world. It's super mega crazy because people just want to use all kind of chemicals to destroy the bees and their lives and everything else on the planet. So, eventually, I, 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 I don't, I'm not sure that people will ever learn this. It's, it's super mega insane. But that's how we are just taught not to think. We're just like programmed to, okay, now I need to do this, now I need to go to school, now I need to go to work, now I need to eat, now I need to sleep. That's it. Robot programmed, mission accomplished by somebody or something. I mean, the world, the destruction of the world will come 
at, at some point because it's not sustainable at all what we're doing so just question of, of time and <laughs> even though we're trying to like we're planting trees and growing stuff around it's just not enough it's not enough I mean the masses need to do something the masses cannot just sit back on YouTube looking at oh they're nice they're growing trees no 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 <laughs> everybody needs to do something and as soon as possible but because otherwise this is just destroyed everything in China they are like pollinating by hand many places I don't know I, I don't think that's a solution mulberries are here like I'm sharing with the birds because they like to eat mulberries too but got go to a mulberry plant bush tree something and you can just start hammering down mulberries the only thing you need to be careful about is that there are no, no ants on the mulberries because ants they pee and if you bite on a mulberry with ant and pee it's very like disgusting and not nice to be eaten alive okay I need to come back later to eat all the mulberries before the birds or they already eaten some I'm pretty sure but they need to save some for for me oh no it's rotting already what's going on wow and mix with uh, our garden too boo 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 come look whoa boo -bee. whoa beetroot what here yeah, no? what i Mango salad with papaya. Pepper. Oh, and pepper. Green pepper? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No chili. Steamed vegetables from the gardens. Nothing like uh, vegetables and fruit from the garden. Food, food, garden food. Garden food is the best. Wow. Fresh garden food. So in the evening, it cools down a little bit, then you can go around and bag the mangoes, the mangoes that are big enough and the mangoes you can reach and maybe sometimes you will take the ladder and then you can reach the mangoes that are far in the top and yeah, it's quite nice, it's a good evening task to do. Mangoes needs bagging here and inside over there also. The next thing coming up are the storms in April and the rain. Maybe this avocado will survive until the rain has come because the other ones over there died. Pretty sure they're completely dead.
and the mulberry dome coming up even more.